So you bought Studio One Professional by Personas. Awesome, good choice. Now what? Let's elevate your sound. Time to get busy. Okay, welcome to episode number one of my brand new channel. My name is Sean Eckert, and I am owner operator of Adelaide Studios. And uh, on this channel, you're going to find all kinds of content that are related to the home studio recording process. And uh, all, as well, you're going to learn the inner makings of how to create a uh, an actual professional music video. So there's a lot to learn. Um, today we're going to be focusing on just uh, you're going to launch a little mini series uh, videos that I like to call my five minute favorites. And uh, in this uh, video we're going to be covering launching of Studio One by Personas. That's uh, my DAW of choice. This this will relate to uh, Pro Tools and Reaper and and all kinds of DAWs. They're all very very similar and uh but but for today we're gonna dive into here really quickly i'm um, gonna you know show you guys how to get your daw up and running if you've just purchased it um or or you know just downloaded it type thing and uh, how you can get a signal in there real quick and get a, a microphone going and you know possibly a guitar track or something of that nature maybe we might even just look at the midi part i don't know we'll, we'll see how much time we got going so, um, you know, I'm going to throw five minutes on the clock here. Just let me get my timer going here. Um, yeah, so let's throw five minutes on the clock and let's get into it. Okay, guys, now we're inside Studio One, and this is assuming everybody has it installed on their computer, whether it's a Mac or a PC. I'm in a Mac environment, uh, but it will relate to a PC as well. So before we're, we get too carried away with all the different links and stuff that are on this page, what we're going to be concerned with here today for the purpose of this video is down here on Setup. So this is my 24 channel uh, studio live mixer that I use for all my recordings. You don't need that. You can have just a two channel focus right or you know there's there's many many different brands that you can have in there. And so the first thing I want us to do is before we go into configure audio device, I'll just open up the audio device here. And before we get into this part, I want you to go over to your system preferences. And you're going to pull that up and you're going to click on sound now in studio uh, in your preferences here you have to make sure that it's not selected you know internal microphone it has to be on your digital uh audio interface so mine is selected it's called uh, personas fire studio yours will say whatever brand that you're working with input and output has to be on those two okay so make sure that's done then, then you'll come back to this page, and this is where you will set your, your playback device settings in the drop-down here. Um, you do not want it on built-in output. You want it, again, on your digital uh, interface. So that once that's selected, you know, for your playback and your recording device, then you'll be good to go. We're not going to worry about any of these guys up here, locations, external devices. Those will be on a future video. Uh, on a later video I should say and we're gonna pay a little bit of attention to device block size here um, this has to do with your sample rates of of how your how your screen will um, what's the best way to explain explain this how, how your screen will draw um, you know with your your video card basically and but more importantly how your audio comes out of it so you don't want any latency or you want very very little latency I like to run at 128 samples and uh, when I do that you can see the input latency here it's only 5.44 milliseconds which is fantastic you, I can't audibly hear that to my ear which means I can I can sing over a track to a click track or a drum set and play guitar to it and the, the playback is, is really good so the input latency is 544 and the output latency is only 44 and that, that works great for me 
So once you're in there, you're going to, uh, you know, once you do that, you're going to click OK and then you'll be all set to go. And we go right back up here and we're going to go create a new song. So I'm going to click on that, and on the left side here, you're going to see styles, interfaces, and user. Uh, we're going to all we're going to do is just pick an empty song. We're not going to worry about all these uh, pre-canned templates that are in here, and we're not going to worry about any of that stuff right now for the sake of time. And you're going to get in here. We're going to call this uh, setting up a DAW, and all you're doing here is labeling your song, setting up DAW and so that'll create a folder uh inside of here you know it'll go ahead and create its own folder for you and uh, store all your assets in there again all this just keep this the way it is 44 hertz 24 bit i, go, I like to go to bars i will go for 114 beats per minute everything's good to start make sure stretch audio files to song tempo is off i will get into that in a, in a later video as well all right so let's get in i hit okay so here we are blank screen right so first thing you want to do is go to track and we're going to add a track uh, we're going to and this is going to be a mono track that we're going to add and it's going to be a wave track not an instrument track but an actual wave track so I'm going to go ahead and click on that and it here it puts the track in so I'm going to name the track and I'm going to call it Vox now that's named I'm going to hover over this a little bit just like that and then you'll you can extend this out a little bit or extend it down now my inputs it's it's doing input left channel only you know so there's the left and there's the right channel too so i'm going to go into my audio setup click that open and there's my personas there and there's my digital um interface so uh, what i like to do real quickly is just uh I'm going to move the let remove the left and right because I don't need it. I just you know, we're dealing with mono tracks. I'm not dealing with stereo tracks right now. And again, this is on inputs. I'm going to select um, channel five. I'm, no, I'm going to I'm going to select channel one, um, not channel five. I'm going to select channel one, and that's going to be my my Vox channel. I can go ahead and label this Vox if I so choose. And there, that, that is going to be channel 5. Actually, you know what? I'm going to select this channel over here because that's what I have on my, on my workstation here. Uh, but you will more than likely select channel 1 or channel 2 on yours, okay? Um, this one, actually, I'll just remove that one too. I don't even need that one. Okay, so now I'll, click, I'll, I'll go ahead and click on Outputs. Now, on my machine, I got to use channel 25 and 26 for two tracking, left and uh, left and right out. On yours, yours will be a little bit different. Um, however, it comes up on yours, you'll be channel one or channel two, or maybe you have an auxiliary output for headphones. And so you want to go ahead and click that, make sure that's all right, and then you're going to hit OK. So once that's OK, now you'll see up, up here, it changed to Vox, channel five. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Okay, so first thing you want to do is go ahead and hit arm. And you'll see that right here, this is my meter coming up and uh, showing me that I have a signal there. And But you hear this bad ping pong effect going on, and that's because I am trying to monitor it as well, as well as record. Okay, so this is your, your millisecond of delay that uh, we will get into. I just wanted to make sure that you folks could at least get your DAW working, okay? So for the sake of this video, I'm going to take that monitor piece off just so it's, it's not so hard to listen to. Okay, so now from here, it, the, the track is recording, or, or sorry, is armed. And now all I have to do is hit record. And I go down here to the bottom of the screen, and uh, I can't remember what they even call this, but I can hit my record button right here um, and start recording just like that. And as you can see, that's coming up. I hit my space bar, and that will kill the recording. And if I want to delete that and I want to start over, um, I'm going to hit the record button again, and away we go. And testing one, two, three, four, there it is. So now, if I rewind back to the beginning, I can just hit my space bar and it won't record, it'll play it back. And here it is. Record button again, and away we go. And testing one, two, three, four, there it is. Okay, guys, that about wraps it up for this tutorial. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you found it uh, useful, um, if value in it, I guess. And, 
we will get into more tutorials as time goes on but if you liked it please uh, comment in the comment section below if you want to see something more in depth um, something that pertains to you on a on a personal level or however that looks uh, please comment below um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the notification bell or smash it if that's your if that's your thing if that's what the new kids are doing today and uh, as well please check out my website at adlaystudios.ca there's going to be lots of great content on there as well blogs vlogs um, there's there's going to be live uh, sessions that go on there just give it give it a whirl go have a look at it and um, hope you enjoyed it i sure enjoyed making this today and uh, we will see you in the next video Thanks for watching. So you bought Studio One by Personas. wraps it up for oh. no. damn did I say that right <laughs> it's it seems a lot easier when you're not you know having to worry about doing it but when you get in front of the camera it's like you have a brain fart and everything changes bizarre